Super Mario Brothers was announced. Right? Like 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 two months ago, three months yeah, ago? Yeah. At, well, more like four years ago, but yes. Oh. <laughs> well, but not with Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt announcement was about six or seven months ago now, yeah. Okay. See, you can see how how well my old man brain works. Cause that was like I'm gonna be one of those people when I stay the other day. I mean, like, you know, when like Seth was twelve. Like three years ago. <laughs> yeah. It says remember the other day when you were born? Yeah. Remember um, like uh three Olympics ago when uh <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna start measuring everything in moons. That will really age me. <laughs> um, here's it's been a fortnight. Hmm. All right. It's been a fortnight. <laughs> Well, they announced Super Mario Brothers, and they announced um, Chris Pratt was going to play Mario, which, okay, I, I, it was kind of received all right, you know, but some people had weird things to say, and I'm sure there's the uh, woke nation out there that's oh, he's not he's even not, Italian. Right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> there's, he's also not a plumber. Like, fuck off, dude. Right, when does it end? <laughs> um, well, uh, well, those people can sit and boast for a moment because... Um, Super Mario Brothers movie pushed back until 2023. But why? But why, Steve? I don't really know. Uh, but I did find this uh, from Screen Rant. It says Nintendo, one of the one of the official production companies on the film, has announced that Super Mario Brothers will release next year. It will debut in North America on April 7th before arriving in Japan on April 28th. Additionally, Deadline, men Deadline mentions... Uh, Universal has moved Puss in Boots, <clears throat> um, The Last Wish, to Super Mario Brothers original December 23rd spot. Uh, that comes, that's that's from Screen Rant. Okay, well. <sighs> is Puss in Boots good? Like, is that, a, is that a good thing? People like the first one quite a bit. No. I have only watched it once, and I was like eight so I don't remember anything about it. It was the greatest film I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't remember anything about it, but they've been working on this second one for ever since the first one came out. Hold on. I'm going to look up when, when did the first one came out, come out was a little bit ago. 2011. Was... So 11 years now they've been working on this sequel. Oh my God. <laughs> God, but, but even James Cameron was ahead of the curve yeah. <laughs> when, it, when it came out with coming out with your sequels, you know, yeah, over a decade later. It's going to be their version of Avatar. Right. <laughs> That's how much weight it carries. <laughs> Avatar, Avatar still took longer, but <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. James Cameron's still leading. Oh, okay. He's, I know leading what you mean. The, the, I, I, he's a pioneer. When you said leading, I thought you meant like he's going to release a his first i thought you meant it was taking less time like those no, no 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 <laughs> uh, 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 um so but why is this movie being pushed back um it, it, listen I, if i were to ask that question or if i were asked that question i don't have the answer to why it, exactly it's being pushed back but i would definitely say it has something to do with this common um obstacle that we've noticed uh, with movie companies lately and especially animated movie companies is the pandemic really put things really behind and now that we're coming on out to the other side of that a lot of these movies that were on hold are now being greenlit go well there's only a certain amount of people who can work on these movies at a time so like you know like oh well we have this movie and it has it's all cgi so get our cgi people on this what do you mean they're still working on Morbius? You know, like, what do you mean they're still working on this? What do you, what do you mean Doctor Strange comes out next week? They're still working on effects because there's a limited amount of people. And I think that's probably why a lot of these delays are happening, especially with heavy animated films into the Spider-Verse being another prime example. It was supposed to come out this year and it's been pushed back into 2023 as well. And I would I would theorize for the same reason. Seth, what do you, what do you think? Do you think that's what I'm saying is tangible or do you have a completely different theory or maybe, maybe, you know, something I don't. Yeah, no, I, I think you're right. But at the same time, like usually, usually now when a movie gets delayed, I don't really ask the question why, because I really don't care. Like, like, okay. Yeah. It's going to take a little bit longer, but maybe it'll be better now. Like, <laughs> unless there's a reason that I should be worried about it, then I don't right, really Morbius? care why a movie was delayed. Yeah. Right, Morbius? Should be better now. Took you two and a half. You had a longer time. You could have yeah. checked up. You could have double checked your work. 
<laughs> they did, and they decided to take a whole bunch of nonsensical shit out of it. But um, I, unless I have a reason to be worried, then I don't really care why a movie gets delayed anymore. Usually, yeah. I'm kind of just like numb to it anyway now. Because like it used to be like, oh, when a movie gets delayed, you're just like, no, man, I was, I didn't want that to get delayed. But now when a movie gets delayed, you're like, oh, okay. I know a movie oh, getting delayed. Getting yeah, a, a movie getting delayed is like, it's like the same feeling I have when gas prices jump like fifty cents in a day. You know, like it's it's like I used to hate it and I used to bitch about it. Like, say, oh my god, fifty cents, how can you do that? Oh my god, the world's coming to an end. Now I'm just kind of like, I hate you, but I, that's the way it is. So <laughs> thanks for making me feel that way. Uh, yeah, it's. <laughs> I don't know where that comparison came from, but it makes sense. Um, Seth, I, I want agree, I want to agree with you, and I think for the most part you do have a point, but I also think there is, and I will go back to Warner Brothers for this. You know, Warner Brothers, when they do delays or when they have done delays in the past or change things up, it, it doesn't really work out for them very well. And that's the thing that scares me when you hear that movies are being pushed back. Now, granted, I will say that animated movies are a little different because of the reason I just said. You have animators that need, there's a finite amount of them, and they're all being tapped into this, you know, into this industry that's chop full of CGI now. So if it was live action, I would be more concerned. The fact that it's an animated, I'm not that concerned at all. Monty, do you, when you hear about, Super Mario Bros. I know your most anticipated movie of the year, but it's being I've been waiting back. for a sequel since the nineties, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I didn't. come on, John Leguizamo! <laughs> John Leguizamo, who was also an Italian. Um, there's a part in that movie I just want to point it out. I know most people won't remember it, and it's good for you. But there's a part for that movie, and it's where Super Mario just kind of goes through a, a wall. Then he falls through the multiverse, the same as Doctor Strange does, and that still freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> it, like it is like exactly the same as when Doctor Strange gets like punched out of his body and everything. That's the same thing. Just listen, with nineties animation. Listen, guys, I, listen. I'm one of those people. Uh, some reason I like Diamonds in the Rough. I don't mind the original Super Mario Brothers movie. I, it's one of those. Hey, they have I the can... same set as Blade Runner. <laughs> it's just, I could sit down and watch those and watch that movie, and like I kind of get the concept. I'm the same with uh, Fant Four Stick, Fantastic Four, the the one that tried to go darker. It, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. Yeah, studio involvement really fucked with it and made it not as good. But Josh Trank's vision, I could definitely see where he was going. But that's the same thing with Super Mario Brothers. It was heavily, heavily um, forced to change its route mid production uh, due to studio involvement, but. Uh, but Monty, do you are you concerned? Do you even give a shit about animated movies being pushed back, or even a movie in general? When you hear that a movie that you're really looking forward to gets pushed back, does that concern you about what is going on behind the scenes, or are you just more like disappointed? Uh, you know, I'm kind of like right in the middle of both of you. Like, I feel like it's a good thing sometimes. Um, like, oh, you know, maybe they're gonna fix a couple things. Other times, it's like reshoots, and it's, uh, not all yeah. the time is that good, you know. But uh, you know, I have a little bit of a more positive attitude sometimes whenever production companies decide to, hey, okay, we need to work on a couple things. Oh, Chris yeah. Pratt's going to be in like three movies this next year. We've got to give him a little bit of time to get his Italian plumber yeah. voice ready. Yeah, Chris Pratt is booked. Oh, he's got Jurassic, Jurassic World 5 and 6 he's working on. Holy crap. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, that that is a good point to stay you know, positive and you know, don't there could be a multitude of reasons and studio involvement is not necessarily a bad thing. Imagine how yeah, not all the time. Imagine all the movies that we've seen where studio involvement was a good thing, but we don't complain about it because it was a good thing. So we don't really, we're not, we're yeah. not, not, how many people do you go, man, this movie was wonderful. <laughs> what if it had, uh, had to be making, studio involvement, <laughs> you know, making like, ET and Steven Spielberg was like, and then I was going to have ET before he takes off, put on the Indiana Jones hat. <laughs> and they're like okay yeah it's a good thing the studio stepped in steven's going a little bit wild strange with power no that's what would have happened if they let george lucas uh dir direct an et movie that's and that's Jar Jar Beaks comes out of the ship and that's his gimp oh boy here we go <laughs> you're in big trouble now <laughs> 
Uh, could you imagine Jar Jar Binks trying to talk with that red ball in his mouth? Oh <laughs> so <my> anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, Aaron White says Bob Hoskins played Mario in the original 1993 movie. It, he isn't Italian either. Yes, he is. But he had a mustache. <laughs> Mario, no, that's he, my case. What? Well, no, but he is—he—he—he he, he is British, so that's close enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Mario has been played by an Italian once. Was it the really horrible animated, or uh, not the animated show, the live-action show? The half-animated, half-live-action show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. That <laughs> was it. That's a thing. That is yeah, a thing. that I was used to have thing, it on yeah. DVD. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's nightmare fuel. Yeah, wow. it is, that is okay. a thing. I. <laughs> You know what though? I'll say something about this movie. I I might have said it when Chris Pratt was announced, but it's concerning to me. They've said he's not using his regular voice, so he's not just going to sound like Chris Pratt. But he's also not doing this the Mario voice. But he's also not doing the Mario voice. Oh, both of those are concerning to me. Like <laughs> because you, you hear he's not doing the Mario voice, so you just assume like, oh, he's just going to walk in and talk like Chris Pratt. And then he's like, nope, he's not doing that either. Hello, so what, I'm Mario. Then what's he doing? He I sounds like Bobcat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I would just really like to be Mario, man. Yeah. Yeah, Mario. <laughs> I I think this movie actually could be half decent, though. Yeah, and I I'm mean, sure, the I'm first sure Sonic movie fun. was pretty good. I the, was pretty the, surprised about that. The only reason I say that is because Nintendo has held out on making a movie for like three decades. <laughs> So, so something about this one that won them over. Good. Something about this one convinced them to jump back into the movie world. Like, there, there was something about this script that they were like, you know what? This is worth it. We're going to come out of our movie shadow that we've been in for 30 years, and we're going to make a movie for the first time. Now, I guarantee you, if this movie sucks, they're never making another movie again. <laughs> they're like, See, I told you. <laughs> They're they, going back inside now. They, they they also made the new Ninja Turtles movie, didn't they? Nintendo? Did they? I was thinking Nickelodeon. God. Oh, you're thinking okay. of Nickelodeon? Yeah. God. I was going to say, holy shit, really? <laughs> no, I was thinking Nickelodeon in my, 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 but in my head. When I Fox. saw the Nickelodeon logo, it just said Nintendo in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. The Everything's last, fine. Everything's the fine. last and only movie Nintendo has ever made was the Mario movie from the 90s. That's it. That's that is their track record at the moment. So we don't hopefully... want to make the same mistake again. But let's do another Mario movie. <laughs> if if this movie's good though, like if people like it and it's it's it like makes money, I guarantee you they're gonna green light like six movies. Like they're they're, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, here's all of our properties. Take them. Here's all of our properties. Got a Donkey Kong movie, uh, uh, Legend of Zelda movie, and like Monty said, we're gonna build up to our, our end game, uh, Super Smash Bros. movie. <laughs> Right, bring in Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu sure. because that happens. Oh, I, forgot, yeah. I forgot Ryan Reynolds played Pikachu. I, oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. just can't wait for like the anthology of Donkey Kong. You know, like Donkey Kong is in this movie. He's is being he? played by Seth Rogen. <laughs> exactly who I would imagine. And there were, there's already been some reports. Nothing from like anyone major, but there's already been some reports that they're already working on a Donkey Kong spinoff. Boom! Gosh. See, I call it so, right like, here. Yep. I called that back when the movie was announced oh, or oh. when the cast was announced. Can't we just say film trigger called it? <laughs> nope. I called it. All right. Well, that's good. Anyway, it was nice talking <laughs> to you, Seth. So um, he's going to boot me off. I know it. You're going to be the better man. Okay. Yep. All right. So, okay. Mario brothers. They're done. See you later. Uh, see you in, see you in 2023. All right. So James Wan, who uh, known horror. <laughs> that was beautiful.